Namaste and welcome back to NASA Speaks. We are going to talk about action planning as part of the coaching process. So when you are doing goal setting, you know, one of the things that you do is that you ensure that the goal is smart, right? What is, what is S? S is specific, M measurable, A achievable, R relevant and T time bound. So now when you've created that SMART goal, you need to now take the action steps. What are the action steps? It's about the how, it's about the when, it's about the what, it's about the where. And it's about bringing that all together to ensure that your action planning is going to end into a result. So as a coach, how will you go about creating the questions or asking the questions to make action planning happen. So you've achieved the goal and you so the, your first thing would be, so Nasser, now that we've affirmed the goal, now that we know what we would like to achieve, what is it that you will do next? This will get Nasser thinking about what is action steps. The next question will come, when will you do this? And why is this when will you do this important? So that you know that there is measurability and that it's time bound. Now let's say for example, NASA's goal was to lose weight in six months time, lose five kgs in six months time. And NASA says he's going to go on a diet after seven months. Is this action step relevant? No. And hence the when will you do this comes in. So what will you do? When will you do? This way you are creating multiple more questions. Like how will you feel when this happens? you're measuring it. What will happen to you if you don't achieve it? Or how will you feel when you don't achieve it? And these are questions, these are questions which are really simple, but one, they're open-ended and they're thought-provoking. It is going to get the coachee to start thinking. And in their mind, they will start achieving those goals because they are now starting thinking how do I get there so they'll start putting the steps into their course they'll start jotting that down they will start ticking these small milestones these small tasks off as they achieve these goals and that's critical when action planning is there but the other aspect also as a coach is very important is you ask that question on how will you feel if this doesn't happen or how will you how, how will you handle yourself or your actions if you fall into your old routine? You know, going back to my example of losing weight, and if I have put the fact out there that I'm going to intake X amount of calories, and because of certain reason, I'm overeating, how will I come back out of that overeating phase? That's another very, very important phase of action planning. So action planning is about putting action to your thoughts and words. It's about executing. And in action planning, you need excellence. Will there be times that you fail? Yes. But it's about being able to pick yourself up, go back to those steps, and making that work for you. So try this, give it a thought. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.